Hi, welcome back to the Guitar RX channel. Today, we're going to show you how to re-glue a bridge onto an acoustic guitar that just came up using a Sloan clamping system. This system is fantastic. These bolts go underneath the bridge plate going through the first and sixth pinhole and then they come up through the bridge. The tool lays down on there and you're able to clamp with even pressure all the way across. It's a great tool. You can find these on eBay. I'll put a link in the description after the video. Anyhow, let me do a little explanation first. First off, there's lots of reasons why bridges fail and pop off acoustics. A lot of it is bad glue and a bad glue job. Another thing is, and mostly why, is acoustic taps have a tendency to warp. They bubble in the back and they sink in the front. And that's from all the pressure applied to them from all the strings that left all the while. And plus humidity gets in. This is thin tone wood. And basically the top warps, the bridge stays rigid. And basically when the top warps, it pops the glue joints from underneath it. So later on I'm going to show you how to deal when gluing this bridge back down with a warp top to a straight bridge. But we're going to get to that when I do the glue up. Anyways, the first thing is first, we have to clean all this glue off the top and off this bridge. And it's really, really vital that you get all the glue off because the new glue will not stick to it. So we have to get all that off. We're going to clean it with naphtha when we're done to make sure there's no grease left for my fingers. And then we're going to rough it up a little bit so the glue has something to bite to. And then we're going to come back and do the glue up. But first I'm going to work at taking this glue off. I'm going to use the sander over here behind us. And basically I'm just going to sand the top of this carefully not to take off any material from the bridge. Anyways, I'm going to uh, get this thing sanded down and then I'll come back after we get the glue cleaned off the bridge. Okay, we got the back of the bridge all clean, which just came out real nice. All the glue is gone and it's scuffed enough to hold glue. Now we got the painstaking effort, effort to get all this glue off. And what I'm going to use to do that is I'm going to lightly scrape it with a razor blade. And if I have to, I'm coming back with a chisel, a sharp chisel and get it off. But I don't think I'll have to. I should just be able to just work this off the bridge. Like I say, the glue didn't really bond really good. On this one from the factory so I don't really believe I'll have any trouble removing that actually it's coming right off yeah let me clean this all up when I get it down to bare wood and get it ready to scuff with the sandpaper I'll be back and then I'm also going to show you uh, how to make the bridge contour with any kind of belly that's left in on the back of the guitar from the top uh, warping anyways we'll be back Okay, I'm scraping out the rest of the glue residue, which basically I think at this point we pretty much have it all, all off at this point. Then I'm going to come back and clean it with naphtha, but first we're going to take a little bit of the sandpaper right here and kind of rough this up. Just a little bit on my finger. We'll rough this up, take off any glue from the pores that might still be hiding in here. Hard, but it's doing a trick. So I'm going to come back with a rag of naphtha and then we're going to clean it up. I got a little left on this rag from before from the back of the bridge. So I'm just going to go over it. Let me put a there it is. Here, wipe this down just a little bit. There you go. And it's cleaning that all down. Okay, so for my next step, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this tape off of here and I'm going to show you guys what I was talking to you guys before. Yeah, see it's always good to put tape around here. It definitely protects when you're scraping so you're not going to get into the finish and cause any further damage. Anyways, hold on one second. I'll be right back and then I'll show you the, the plan. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you guys what I like to do. If your tap warps in the back and bubbles up like that, it sinks in the front. What it's gonna do, it's gonna make the bridge rock and you're gonna see like air gaps underneath the bridge. This one's not too bad, but there are some. So what I like to do is, here's the placement where the bridge is. I marked it before so I know where it is. Anyways, what I did is I took a piece of sandpaper, I taped it down to the, to the guitar, and I put tape underneath it around these edges so the guitar will not get scratched in any possible way. And what you now, this is thin 220 sandpaper, and now it'll basically 
affixed to the contour or the warp of the guitar. So what I like to do then is take the bridge before I glue it and just start rubbing it back and forth right on the area. What you do by that is whatever the belly and the top is or the bubble, you'll contour the bridge the same way. So when you glue it down, the bridge will sit perfectly flat to whatever warp or contour is in the top of the guitar. So let me go ahead and do this. It's not too bad. And when I get back to you, what we're gonna do that is we're gonna clean everything up with napa, and then we're gonna glue this bridge in. And as you can see, I'm gonna flip this real quick. And as you can see, it's already, it's already cutting. You're already getting a slight arc back there, and you're getting a slight arc in the front where you needed the arc. So it's actually, it is, cutting and shaping already. So let me continue this for a few minutes. We'll be right back and then we're going to glue this in. Okay, I got this shape to the top. Now we're cleaning it up with napfa, which is right here. And it's regular napfa, which in, it's basically a lighter fluid, but that's under the real name. So what we're going to do now is we got this all cleaned up. And as you can see by laying the tape down before, we got no scratches or anything from the sandpaper, like I said. Everything's good. That's pretty cleaned up. So next step is what we're going to do is we're going to get the clamp ready and get the glue ready and we're going to get this bridge restuck. We'll be right back when we set up the clamps. Okay, now we're going to put the glue on. We're going to get we're going to glue this down. I'm using the Gorilla Wood glue, not that foaming old Gorilla glue. That stuff is terrible. This stuff's great. Nice. I like it better than tight bond. There I said it. First off, I'm going to put a rag inside there to catch any glue that might fall. Yeah, because glue is going to drip down from the uh, bridge pin holes, so we're just going to take care of that right now. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we're going to want to put a good amount of glue on here and get a good amount of gush. So, let's get this going. And we're also going to put a lot of glue on the top of the bridge right here, too. Or on the bridge, I should say, itself. You want a good amount. And I'm going to take this brush. We're just going to spread it out evenly over the whole bridge. Just like that. So we'll cover every inch of it. Not miss nothing. We're gonna do the same on the body. Don't worry about any mess. This is water soluble glue. It'll clean up just fine after we get the bridge stuck. We'll come back with some wet paper towels and get everything all cleaned up. Okay, now what we're gonna have to do we're going to come in with the clamp. So what I'm going to do is to the side, set this down for now and hurry up before it sets up. We're going to go with the clamp pins. Basically we're going to go in the body. We're going to bring them out right on the first string and sixth string. Like so. I'm going to get that up like that. Like that. Oh, and it fell through. Wonderful. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to start out with this one. Come on, one second. Actually, we're going to get back to you. I'll get back to you when I get these through. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, we got our screws pulled through the sixth and first strap pin, and now they're in the clamp. We put the clamp over, then we put these thumb screws on there. And then what we want to do is we're going to take these hardwood calls, we're going to put them in the end because that's what we're going to use to clamp down the ends of the bridge. So I'm going to put those in place like that. And I'm going to get clamping on these until we see some gush out, which is what we want to see. And let me tighten on these more. I'm going to get these all the way down. Then you're going to see a whole bunch of glue gushing out of here. That's what you want. Just put some nice even pressure on the whole thing. And that's what we want to do. Okay. 
Casey, if you would, could you go inside the guitar and put this in the Allen wrench underneath? In the Allen hole. Or hole. Where the Allen wrench goes. <laughs> Yeah. The Allen hole. <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tighten this down. It's going to finish cushioning out. We're going to get nice and tight. Okay. Now if you want to bring that wrench out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down on this. And if you would, Casey, in the meanwhile, I'll get a couple of your rags and some nice water so we can clean this mess up. I'm going to go with the calls right here on the end and get these totally held down. I'm not going to go too tight. We're going to break anything, but there you go. Now we're going to clean up this mess. And uh, yeah, she should be perfect. Should be nice and nice and good. But uh, yeah, we're going to be right back when we clean this baby up. Okay, we got the bridge all clamped and cleaned up all the way around. And she's sitting down nice and flat. So I'm going to let this thing sit here with the clamps on overnight. We'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm going to take them off. We'll test it for strength, clean it up even more. Then I'm going to put some strings on this thing and play it. Anyways, till tomorrow. Okay, here we are back. The clamps are off the bridge. And as you can see in the back of the bridge, everything sits real nice to the guitar. Just like it should. Because when we sanded the back of the bridge, we got that contour of the top belly just where we wanted it. Bridge is on. It's looking good. There's no damage around the bridge anywhere. It's looking real nice. And this guitar will live to see another day. Anyways, thank you for tuning into the channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side and we'll see you for the next video. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Take care.